Okay, guys, I'm XDSL. This is The Escapist 2. Now, uh, The Escapist 2 is a game that I was kind of interested in. I'm like, I wanted to play for a while. I thought it'd be a game I'd really like when I got into it because it's about the puzzle of escaping a prison. How do I escape this scenario? You know, how do I do it? Um, I love puzzle games, especially organic puzzles where like it's not like like a fit in blocks together, but it's, a, it's like an environmental puzzle or a social puzzle. I love like organic puzzling. Um, so yeah, I was like, I'm going to play this. And then I had got in a humble bundle a while, but humble monthly, I think. And I was, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get to that eventually. I'm going to enjoy the shit out of it. Last night I was in the mood for it, and I had a friend who was also at loose end for what to play. So I was like, let's play the Escapist too. Let's go in and escape from prison together. So we did. We went in. Um, the Escape is 2, as I said, released 22nd of August 2017, been out for a little while, um, gets mostly positive um, overall, very positive recently, uh, and it's priced at £19.99, there's a bunch of DLC, uh, I think you just need the season pass, which is £6.99, and the new one, which is like the second season, which is £2.79, so it's like, it's a £30 game, realistically, if you want to get everything. Um, I went in last night blind. Now, I never really played the first one. I bounced off it really quickly. I just It's just something that I was sort of like, eh, it's all right. You know, I, 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 I didn't really pay much stock to it. It didn't really suck me in. But I thought, this one's going to be great. It's playing with a friend is going to take this from, from interesting to amazing. So we load in. <clears throat> first of all, janky as fuck how you get into a game. You can't just, like, make a party and go into prison. You have to load up a prison in public or private mode and then invite your friend in. Okay, it's fine. I can live with that. Um, the tutorial, I know what I'm doing, okay? Uh, so I was like, okay, these, these controls are weird. I feel like maybe I'm better on a pad. So I pick my pad up, I push, the, I, I push the button on the pad to turn it on, the little guide button thing to turn it on, and boom, another one of me spawns. I shit you not. It's, it just thinks like two people want to play on my PC and the person on remote. I was like, okay, that's a weird, confusing thing. Maybe I should, maybe I can like, like quit as the keyboard player. So I was like, okay, so I try quitting as the control player, and it's like, okay, exit the game gracefully. So I go back as the controller player, and I use my keyboard to quit the game, thinking I'd drop out the keyboard player, leaving the controller player. And then it just ends the game, takes them back to menu. And then my friend, who was playing online, was blissfully unaware of this, other than, oh, where did you go? Like, he carries on playing as normal. It was very janky, that. I couldn't figure out a way of making it understand where I just wanted to use the controller. Um... It was very bizarre. It const and I know in options, there's an option where you have to change it from keyboard and mouse to keyboard, mouse, and controller. I thought doing that would disable the ability to like throw in an extra player. But no, as soon as I press the button, it it's like, hey, you must want to play as well. Very confusing. Annoying, actually. Very, very annoying. Uh, but I'll let that go. It's not a big deal. Played with keyboard. Now, you have E and spacebar to interact with things. Uh, e seems to be to like use your items and space to interact with the environment. But except when it's not, which is a little bit confusing. But okay, I'll let that go too. I was ready for my puzzle. We started puzzling. I got caught mid escape. I got caught trying to cut a fence open in the the first proper prison you have to do, and I got sent back to my cell. And uh, then the next day, it's like you have to go to bed. Like time goes by fast. That's fine. And then it says, okay, go back to the desk and get the simple cutters. Like, put me back on the quest line. I was like, all right, then I can do this. And I runs out, and I go to the place, and I open, open the chest thing, and the cutters aren't there. And the game's like, no, no, this is where the cutters are. And it's constantly telling me to go back here to get the cutters, and the cutters aren't there. So I figure my buddy, he'll escape. I figure my buddy playing, he'll escape. So while he's doing that, I'll focus on just doing the prison stuff and keeping the, the security alert down, you know? Maybe I'll see an opportunity to help out. And I just spent five days in the prison doing the loop, and I maxed out my health. Um, I maxed out my um, my intelligence. I maxed out my uh, fitness. I maxed out like my, my what's the other strength? Um, uh, while my buddy's like apparently facing similar bugs where he failed once and they won't let him do anything. Uh, yeah, it was not a great experience. But being people, we like the aesthetic. We we thought there's a great game in here if we can just like you know get in there. So. We go again with the next prison. This one is on a uh, is on a train. Now the puzzles, a lot of the puzzles are getting around because the, the guards follow set routes. So you have to like figure out the routes the guards take, and then from there you can figure out your best way of travel. Um, there's even little cards giving you like rough hints on what to do, like create a fake carrot or or find a way to hook onto an ego as it passes, stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, this is cool. Um, yeah, an hour and a half later, dudes, we're on the wiser, non the wiser. Um, after a quick looky on Google. Um, well, not Google, but you know the the the, the Steam forums actually. As we get looking around the interpipes, we figure most people are like, yeah, you just need to watch a few YouTube guides on each prison, and you get the idea of how to escape. And it's like what? It's like literally the advice of the, 
the community's like, just watch some guides, man, you'll be fine. Um, I was hoping for an organic puzzle where I could look at this prison and, like, figure out loads of ways to escape. I quickly realised that it's more down to pick one of the methods they that, like, they, like, there's a list of, like, these are the four ways to escape. Those are the only four ways to escape. There's no mixing and matching, no weirdness to do, no, no, like, 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 weird stuff you can pull off as two of you. I almost feel like the multiplayer is kind of pointless. There are a few rooms you can only get into if there's more than one player in the game, um, but for the most part, it's almost pointless being a multiplayer. There was no, it doesn't seem like there's any any extra gameplay there for being multiplayer. I can might as well play single player than just tell my buddy about it. Um, yeah, I wasn't that impressed by it, and I wanted to be. I was really up for it. I love this. I love the way it looks. It looks beautiful. Um, it's exactly the kind of game I want to play, but it's just not an organic puzzle. It's a figure out what we mean by this type of escape more than figure out how to escape and then once you figure out what they mean by that you can go okay i do this you know, do this this and this um i still had fun exploring the environments though i still enjoyed exploring those environments and and seeing how the world's put together i still enjoyed that so i'm not gonna i'm not slamming the game but definitely i was i was stopped outright by books definitely multiple times which is a shame because it's been out since august 2017 um, and yeah, I just I was just underwhelmed by the whole experience, guys. I really wanted to love it, and especially with multiplayer, I think it gives it the best chance of being loved. But uh, it's just really all right. I mean, you know, it, I feel like if I had paid like five dollars for the game, I would have been a lot happier than well, I kind of did a great a bundle. But you know, I, I just feel like like the amount of money they're asking, I expected a lot more systems. Um, I expected a lot more premium for the price. And what I get is a very formulaic game, and I kind of found that dull. I actually had more fun just doing the loop in the prison, just experiencing the prison life they put there for you. Um, that was kind of fun, actually. Um, but you can't do that forever. That's not the game. And it's not like you'll actually get let out eventually. I don't think you will. That'd be cool if you could just escape by following, like, you know, towing the line until it's time to be released. That'd be pretty cool. Um, also, there's the, when I say bugs as well, like, not only did I have, like, quests literally crash and I had to restart the game, but um, I had, like, like, guards chasing me and i literally get into a like a locker in front of them and they go where's he gone and wander off and i have a lot of this thing where like when the guards can't find you they'll stand there and they go i broke my bat i'm beating you and they just act like they're beating you up and then walk off which is really fucking weird an odd choice i mean surely that's just a dialogue tree that could tag or something you know but uh, and they're like they act like they're beating you up and if you do get if you do get beaten up by a guard um, a medic comes and picks you up and then takes you sometimes to the infirmary, depending on what prison you're in, but often back to your own cell. And uh, they take off you any equipment, any escaping equipment you've got, but they leave you with the most arbitrary shit. Because like, they, they take off you weapons and they take off you stuff, but then they'll leave like rubber gloves and tape with you. It's like, there's just weird the things they choose to take off you. And I'm almost like, I think they've left these things on me because they're not part of the planned escape routes for this prison. Like they're not part of the things I can tick off in this prison, which is fine. But yeah, all in all, I'm really not. I'm, I'm really like lukewarm on it. I'm just like I, I'm gonna try it again with, with different friends, or, you know, different people, and more people. Maybe I'm gonna try again with friends because I still think that'll be the best way to play it. But uh, at the moment, I am completely flat on it. I'm just kind of like, oh, it's a shame. I just feel like I didn't do the job properly. Um, I like the idea of I like, I like the idea of split screen while online though. All that that versatility it's got is actually a good thing. I think that's gonna be great. Um, but yeah, prison, uh, prison. I keep trying to keep wanting to call it prison architect. I keep going to say prison architect because I feel like it's a prison architect game. Um, the escape is too. I know the prison architect game has actually got an escape thing. I wonder if it's the same as this. I wonder if it's like the same fucking game. I'm gonna go and play that and do compare and contrast. Thanks for watching. I've been XDSL. If you like what I do on this channel, um, feel free. Feel free to check out my Patreon. Come support me. If you'd like to see more of me, I'm available on PeerTube now as well. The link will be in the description below the video if I remember to do it. And uh, you can also check out all my stuff over at xpenguin.club. Thank you very much for hanging out and watching this video and you know all this stuff and checking out my website because I have no doubt you're going to do that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.